Today I'm going to show you one of the easiest meals you might ever make in your pressure cooker. And I'm going to use my four quart purple Cook's Essentials pressure cooker. Which I reminded myself the other day that I had it. Because I haven't seen it in a while. <laughs> and I like it. Non-stick pan. Inexpensive. Let's plug it in. I got some frozen chicken tenderloins there you can see. Purdue brand. See? Frozen. And I have a box of old classic Kraft macaroni and cheese. Remember that? We used to eat it a lot. I used to get them four for a dollar, sometimes five for a dollar. So these are frozen solid. Put about, I don't know, six or eight of them in there. And then we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, a little one. That's enough. Probably about eight and a half there. That's enough for my lunch. Now I'm going to add the macaroni and cheese. Let me just pack it first. The cheese. Look at that. Was that easy? I'm going to start with two cups of water. If you're making it on the stove top, it calls for six. But we just want our pasta to be all wet. See? A little less than two cups. Four tablespoons of butter. The box calls for margarine, but we don't use margarine anymore, do we? No. Butter. Open our cheese packet. Sprinkle that around. Stir it up a little bit. Mix it around. You wait. Don't be scrumptious. Make sure your pasta is covered in liquid. Incorporate your cheese as much as you can. Just put the butter on top. Oh! <laughs> put the lid on. See how easy that was? Make sure you're in pressure or sealing mode. Airtight this says, and I see this is beginning to wear off as well. Remember my Elite was wearing off like that. So, so far I still know that's airtight. Try to remember that. Now I don't have a chicken button or a pasta button on here. So I'm going to pick something like, uh, let's see, ribs. And I want to go down on my time. I want seven minutes. See that was pre-programmed for 40 minutes. But you can usually change all your pre-programmed settings to whatever you want. Okay, we set it for seven minutes, and this is going to be an amazing meal. We're going to let the pressure build up, and then release it manually. We'll be back. Mmm, time's up. Let's release the pressure. Whew. Almost all the way up. We should hear a safety click release. There it is. Hear that click? All right. Smell like macaroni. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me get a spoon. First turtle. Want to look? Look at this. Oh. See, that was plenty of liquid. I wouldn't have wanted to put six cups in. Well, look at that chicken fall apart. Boy, cut it with a spurtle. So tender. Keeping with the orangish yellow theme of our Kraft mac and cheese, I'm going to add some shredded Mexican cheese in there. Oh boy, that's going to fix it up good. Put that on top, put the lid on for two more minutes, and guess what? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Holy cow, look at this. Mmm, now I want to bring this out to a bowl. Look at this delicious, simple meal. I need a spoon for this. Oh. Isn't that delicious? Mm hmm. Buttery, cheesy chicken. 
There's enough here for probably three real people to eat. I'm sorry, can you see that? Mmm. Okay. There's a delicious classic Kraft mac and cheese pressure cooker meal. Isn't that the easiest, most delicious pressure cooker meal you made? Put some bacon on top. Hey, oh, look what I did. Where's my fork? Wow. The chicken just falls apart. Try that with some frozen chicken, some kind of pasta, mac and cheese box if you like. It's great. I'm going to eat this whole bowl. I'll talk to you soon. Please subscribe. Have a great day.